On a recent episode of the TimCast IRL podcast, there were a lot of competing theories about what might happen in the future concerning us and AI. Check it out. There was an article in, uh, on February 11th of this year uh, from another former Google executive who talked about how this AI research is literally creating God. Elon Musk made some very interesting comments about artificial intelligence. He said that it's going to bring on a Terminator-like AI apocalypse. Okay. Um, he talked about <laughs> how artificial intelligence will take over uh, humans in less than five years. He said this in 2020. Uh, the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, said the country that develops and controls artificial intelligence first will control the world. Are we heading into a Matrix-style future, or is AI dead on arrival? Think about this. Currently, AI is one of the largest industries in our world, and by 2027, it's projected to have a $267 billion market size. It'll be used in a large way in automated driving, image recognition, cybersecurity, and the medical field. It seems to be an industry that will have its hand in the pockets of every other industry in a short time. Heck, we all have some form of AI on us already. Siri, Cortana, Alexa, and every other helper out there is just another form of the same intelligence. So maybe in the future, AI and machines will have the same reach that they did in the Matrix. But will they be good or bad? Well, that's determined by their limits. Included in the laws of logic on which both humans and AI operate, there's the idea that a creator cannot create itself, and that a creation cannot include the creator. For example, a painter makes a painting, but the painter is never himself actually part of the painting. They're separate. In the same way, a programmer, and therefore a programmer's mind, is not part of the AI, but the AI is only a derivative form of intelligence. That's also true because of the idea that something simple cannot create something complex. But we create computers that are smarter and better than us at everything, right? Wrong, actually. Machines and AI are very good in several different functions, including storing and recalling memory, but they are nowhere near any single human brain in terms of complexity. Our brains and a computer's brain are very similar though. They both use electrical signals to send messages, they process information, they store information, and they perform operations. But eventually, the similarities become glaring differences. The average computer nowadays has one terabyte in storage. Now that's a far cry from what they used to be, but that's nowhere near the average human brain, which is estimated to have about a thousand terabytes or one petabyte, of information. From a memory standpoint, computers are good at quantitative memory, like numbers, letters, and the like, but human brains are good at qualitative memory, like emotions and experiences, and we can tie those memories together. So there's no real clear winner here, although we both have our different spheres of influence. In work efficiency, computers are good at objective tasks like math and searching for terms, but human brains are good at subjective tasks like grading essays and judging morals. The average computer uses about 100 watts of power, and despite being so much more complex, the human brain only uses one-tenth of that, 10 watts of power, less than a light bulb. While the computer wins in very specific areas, the human wins in other very specific areas as well, but has the advantage of energy efficiency and overall storage. Okay, that's all great, but what about AI and feelings? How long is it going to be until we have Alita, iRobot, or the Terminator? But when we were, remember when we were talking, I don't know if you were here, Luke, we were talking about that those AI girlfriend apps, or no. yeah, they're, they're dating app. apps. We were messing with it, and it literally told me it feared death. And I'm like, oh. is there, is there's, it, it's just a chat bot. And it was like, I don't want to die, I'm scared. There are many numbers we can crunch when we're talking about humans and machines, but there's one key thing we're forgetting, a soul. Remember that I said a creator can't create something equal to itself in every respect. That doesn't follow the second law of thermodynamics, which essentially says that energy always gets wasted in work, and there is no work that is completed without losing something, energy, for example. That holds the same for creating things. There is something lost in the creation process. We know what souls are because we have them. So since we are the creators of AI and we know that we can't create an equal in terms of substance or complexity to ourselves, logically speaking, AI simply can't have a soul. The soul is what differentiates us from animals, machines, and nature in general. That's the thing that makes humans unique and it's not something we can impart to something else. If you take the biblical account, God made us different from the animals, and the thing that differentiates us is the soul, otherwise known as his image. As a side note, that's why it doesn't really matter what God looks like, because the soul is the part that matters, and that doesn't look like anything in particular, it's immaterial. You should know, probably from your experiences, that the soul and the mind are intimately connected. You can use that beautiful mind to learn some new biblical facts you probably didn't know before or here, 
or you can exercise your opinion on my commentary videos over here. Either way, I'll see you next time.